Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Happy Friday, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 12th, 2019. So my goodness, those bulls are large and in charge. They refuse to pull back at all. Moving higher, the Jerome Powell comments are finally finished, and markets um, couldn't be happier with the pending... Um, rate cut that seems to be on its way here by the end of July. Now, of course, we don't know how much that rate cut's going to be, whether it's going to be a quarter point or or um, or maybe a 50 basis point cut. I kind of believe closer to that quarter point, but we'll have to wait and see um, what that result is. Here's the thing that's happened, though. Since the rumor or since the conversation with the FOMC began of a possible rate cut, Dow has gained, the Dow, this is the diamonds obviously, the Dow has gained 2,400 points. So think about that. Just with the thought of a rate cut, the Dow has put on 2,400 points, even though there's been no change in the China trade deal. So you might want to consider the the magnitude of this move considering the fact <clears throat> that we're heading into a weekend and next week we kick off earnings season so what i'm suggesting is you know we're looking at a gap up open this morning to new record highs in, here in the dow so what i'm suggesting is you might want to consider ringing that register putting a little bit of money in the in your account ahead of the weekend and ahead of the beginning of earnings season. As you know, a lot of companies have been warning, warning pretty dramatically that they are going to miss earnings estimates. If you take a look at Fastenal, Fastenal is one of those examples um, that gapped significantly lower on that warning um, uh, or, or after uh, reporting earnings, but they had warned that they were going to miss. So kind of keep that in mind. We could see um, a lot of volatility as we move into that earnings season. Now, of course, next week we begin with the big banks. And I think, I don't know, I'm guessing on this, but I think the big banks probably have, um, have this pretty much figured out. Um, at least for this season. So we'll see. They, you know, they passed their stress test. They've been able to raise dividends. So I think the banks are probably in pretty good shape. But once we start hitting some of those tech earnings, that's where things could really get a little bit um, interesting. So watch that closely. And keep in mind, you know, next and next Monday we've got Citibank reporting in the morning before the the market opens. So we're going to start hitting those big bank earnings. Um, next week and getting that earnings season kicking off so we can expect some additional volatility overall in the market. So keep that in mind as you kind of plan um, plan forward, plan your risk forward into the weekend. Um, let's take a look at the technicals of the chart, however. If we take a look, you can see we have broken out all-time new highs here, really broken out strongly. We're looking at a gap up open this morning. So um, bulls, there's blue sky above. There's no resistance up there, so we certainly could keep on rising. However, if we do um, um, find a little bearish activity or a little profit taking today, let's keep in mind any pullback, um, we're going to hope that it holds above this support level. And if not here, right in this area, right in here, um, hold these support levels in the chart and uh, try to maintain that bullish trend. So watch that closely this morning. I don't think we're going to see... Uh, you know, uh, I, I mentioned this a couple days ago that I thought that they were going to carry this rally right through the, through, uh, the end of the week, and that looks to be the case here this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY gapping up a little bit this morning. It looks like we may actually get an opportunity to tag that 300 mark here in the SPY this morning, possibly right at the open tag that number that's been kind of a difficult place for the the spy to actually move through now the s p 500 um actually did move through that already um uh that 3000 mark but then um 
after we popped through by two points, we pulled back. And yesterday, we ended up um, uh, just just hovering right below that 3,000 mark at the close um, yesterday. So just hovering right in there, uh, trying to show that that strength here in in the market. Let's take a look um, at the queues. Queues, uh, new record highs, uh, breaking out on that move um, yesterday and a new record high print up here yesterday, but it was unable to hold that by the end of the day. There was a little bit of resting pullback. I don't think there's anything in this that's, that's bearish, and I don't think there's anything in this that's uh, a major concern. And as you can see this morning, we're looking at uh, this trying to move back up this morning at the open. So as long as we hold up here, this could be a consolidation that forms across here, maybe a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation after such a strong move that still provides us that opportunity of the trend and an up move if we come on um, up out of there. However, if we do see some of that bearish action coming in, if some profit taking begins to happen heading into the weekend, just keep in mind, pulling back below that level might be important for the market, but that's maintaining the trend. So we're still okay in that chart as long as we don't uh, drift all the way lower. Our trend um, could still be strong even if we break down below this level. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM just can't quite get its program together here. Uh, while the other markets were pushing higher, IWM slipped um, once again yesterday but this morning it's looking to open just a tiny bit higher whether iwm can finally break out of this big long downtrend i don't know but what we do have going on here is this wedge pattern and it's it's possible that what we're doing is just trying to um, complete this wedge so for example if i redraw this here um, we may just be winding around in here um, over to the point of that wedge trying to decide which way we're going to go if we can get that lift up out of here or if that ends up failing. I can't tell you where that direction is. I just tell you that this downtrend overall in IWM is still a concern and we have to pay attention to that. And it's certainly lagging way beyond behind the other three indexes and might be the place where we watch if, if, if we do start to falter, it might be IWM that moves there first. So watch that close. If we take a look at the VIX, VIX continuing to signal um, no fear in the market whatsoever. Um, we had a, a little bit of a lift yesterday that maybe we've stretched this upside rally just a little bit too far. But as you can see, um, we are absolutely in a downtrend, um, drifting down here. Heck, heck, we're looking at a you know a 12 handle here on the VIX. Uh, pretty amazing. Uh, when you consider um, how low or how little fear there is here in the market. We do have a support level down here. Uh, this gap up this morning could move us down toward this area. We want to watch that support level for possibly a little bit of pullback in the market, maybe a little tiny lift. So we'll watch that close. Um, take a look at T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio. I always plot that as just a line chart and looking this over, we actually had, even though we had this rally yesterday, we had a little tiny pullback in T2122. So that is giving us that opportunity that we have here for upside move to continue to occur. Um, we're, we don't reach those oversold levels until we're up here. So we've got room to the upside still. And then, of course, we still have room to the downside. So something to consider as you're watching this. This doesn't give us a directional trade um, unless we're in those um, upper and lower regions. It just simply tells us we have room to both sides and we need to consider that as we're planning our risk forward. Let's take a look at... Um, our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar may have a little bit to say about um, how the market opens. We have um, 
PPI, the PPI number coming out here at 8.30 a.m. this morning. But then after that, really nothing. So keep an eye on that PPI number. Um, uh, just a little bit of, oh, there may be a little bit of tossing around depending on how that number comes in. So just watch that close. Um, earnings calendar today. We have... You know, about 17, 18 companies reporting earnings today. I really honestly don't see, um, you know, any of them that are uh, particularly notable because so many of them are, uh, are um, considered penny stocks. Um, they're, they're just, there's just not much um, in these earnings reports this morning to really um, move on. So, um, I would expect, um, some movement around here this morning, but I wouldn't expect a whole lot of, of movement, um, this morning just, um, uh, because of these, because of these companies like INFY, um, uh, might be, uh, one of the more notable and you can see it's gapping up substantially here this morning. Um, this is where it's ex expected to open this morning. So it's reported well moving on up. Um, but for the most part, um, there's just not really, um, many notable companies. You know, we're looking at companies like TRX, TRX, it's a dollar a share. Um, HIFS is one of the more notables, uh, big financial institution. You can see, um, it, there's no suggestion as to where that's going to open just yet. And then, uh, maybe KHC. KHC Kraft Heinz, um, but you know here we are, you know crawling around the floor of the ocean here on KHC. Um, a lot of reorganization going on, major downtrend still going on. So I don't see that as being a particularly notable report this morning. Let's take a look um, at some charts that may be setting up for trades or charts that are continuing on in their patterns. But before we do that, if you don't mind, let me ask you for a favor. And that would be to click that subscribe button here on YouTube. Just click that subscribe button and then click that thumbs up or excuse me, that bell icon when that pop-up comes up to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you get notified when I post these videos, you guys know every market day, I post this morning market prep video and there's a ton of other videos on this channel. Guys, if you're looking for some education, if you're looking for some help in your trading, I've provided a ton of information on this channel and it grows every day. So take a look at that and please, um, um, remember that if you look in the description right below the title of this video, there is a link and you can click on the link, go to the website and actually go to the blog page where you can find out more information. So make sure, you know, if you're looking for more information or whatever, click that, click on that, um, little short link down there and it'll take you right to the blog post this morning. Um, also do me a favor and um, if you feel this video is worthy, click that sub, um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You don't have to leave, you know, long dissertations or anything like that, but just that brief comment um, um, helps these algorithms to show these videos to more people. And I, and I just want to say thank you so much, you know, guys, you, you truly are the best. And although I, I, tr I work really hard to try and put out really great comment without a whole bunch of, without the hype, without the prediction, just looking at the technicals of the chart. Um, you guys are the reason that the, the channel grows because of you clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those comments. So thank you everyone who does that. You, you honestly, you mean the world to me. Thank you very much, um, for, um, supporting the channel. You're the best. So from here, let's take a look at some charts that, um, you know, just continue to, um, perform well, set up. Now, some of these charts are going to be those charts that are in the earnings next week. Take a look at JP Morgan. JP Morgan moving up here, breaking through this resistance level, and it's consolidating right in here. Now, I don't know if this is going to move higher with earnings 
or or not but i can tell you that we're getting some movement in some of these banking stocks if you take a look at goldman sachs yesterday goldman sachs just ripped the cover off the ball and there's that nice little consolidation again in the chart there we have that trend and here's this consolidation um, right up in here and we just broke through in a big way yesterday breaking let me show you this this is a weekly long-term um, uptrend and we broke back above that substantially yesterday just really um, moving strongly so something is going on here in the financials perhaps they're expecting um, uh, good earnings on these next week and that's just something to think about or pay attention to as you're planning ahead into uh, that next week um, also insurance companies have been doing very very well and MetLife um, is showing a really nice tight consolidation here a little bit of a hammer pattern here yesterday um, in that chart if this could get a follow-through and break through that break through that resistance up there this looks like a potential buy or a potential entry now remember anytime I show these charts um, the, these are not recommendations to buy or sell securities these are something to put on your watch list something to evaluate try to determine whether this trade might be for you um, and you can start looking at these charts um, to prepare possibly for something that fits you. I can't tell you if it will, so there's just no recommendation in this video to buy or sell any security. But I do love this pattern, and this pattern is one that I follow a lot, and that is a trending stock. We have a stock that's just in a nice steady trend, and I look for these um, nice little consolidating patterns, and particularly when that pattern really begins to tighten up. Notice how tight it is right here. Now what that pattern really is telling us is there's no buyers above this level. There's no sellers below this level. But because we're holding a trend and we're staying in a trend, I favor and I'm watching for that possible upside move, that pop when it breaks out to the upside. So you want to keep an eye on that uh, chart. It's really looking pretty good here and showing some strength. Um, stocks that I have been mentioning are finally starting to get a little bit of a rest or pullback. We had um, McDonald's where we alerted in here. There's that pattern again, that nice little tight consolidation um, meeting up with trend here and off we go to the races and now we're resting up here just a little bit getting a little pullback yesterday but this might just consolidate itself right over to the trend again and then we move on higher so um, by the way if this is a if this doesn't consolidate and we get this pullback we call that a pullback opportunity in right way options we wait for that pullback to occur wait for the entry signal or that buy signal that bullish candle showing buyers are stepping back in so that we can enter that trade and look for that next move higher so keep an eye on that bbby made its move yesterday i've been mentioning this in the morning video and um, made a nice move popping out of that same kind of consolidation here didn't quite make it all the way over to its trend but look how beautiful that little consolidation move is i call it the pop out of the box if you guys want to learn more about that um, let me know in the comments i do have um, uh, videos and classes on the pop out of the box pattern it's just one of those great repeating patterns um, in charts to watch for now charts a little bit different um, coming up out of bottoms you guys know i've been talking about ctl ctl popping through that little move right there this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern where we are rounding this we are we're over oversold in this stock we get this extreme sell-off here at the end of these normally and then we start that move back up now where this chart really gets interesting to me is once we cross back above the 50-day moving average and prove that we can hold it and we've done that here and you can see that 50-day moving average is just slowly starting to turn higher so as we break through these resistance levels here in the chart we want to watch for that entry into this position so this was an alerted position right here um, and I know a lot of members of RWO um, are, are in this trade but keep an eye on this if this were to rest or consolidate in here it could still provide another opportunity um, 
entering into this trade with very low risk and we'd be looking for these levels up here to be attacked and we start moving on higher and i think um possibility of moving right back up into here um seems pretty pretty likely so keep that in mind um another one that has been doing that kind of thing uh, wba wba making that rounded bottom breakout type move now yesterday it popped through and pulled back i still think this has that possibility of sliding over here toward that trend so keep an eye on this if that were to pull back or slide over um, watch for that signal that might occur in here and open up this opportunity to fill this gap here above really nice potential profit in that trade if that does occur take a look at ttwo ttwo still in a current trend tried to pull back yesterday but those buyers stepped in and said no 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 we're not ready to go down yet and um watching this little pattern right in here there would be an alert area that i would place on the chart if this were to follow through and move on through ttwo ha maybe has some upside potential left in it so keep an eye on that moving over to the oil um sector um slumberger slumberger is making that rounded bottom breakout pattern occur and there we have that breaking above that 50-day moving average notice that pullback that i talk about that tests that area as support and then moving on higher so sob looking pretty good probably needs a little bit of rest or a little bit of consolidation before i would um, try to get into this to move this higher but some of those oil stocks starting to pick up with the decline in supplies um, that we're seeing and the tensions growing between us and iran so might want to keep an eye on some of those stocks so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic weekend i want to wish you great profits and please do me a favor you know make that if this video has been worthy to you if you feel like um, um, it's worthy of clicking that thumbs up button and leaving a comment i truly truly appreciate it everyone take care have an awesome awesome weekend i want to wish you all the best i want to wish you great profits and we'll talk to you all bright and early monday morning have a good one.